It's me again. It's your boy Slim the Fox with another review. And we're going to do this review on the Netflix miniseries Griselda. Um, if you don't know who Griselda is, she was a drug, a, a, a female drug kingpin in the er, early 80s, 90s era, who ran Miami to a certain extent. But anyway, let's get to the story. The story starts off with him, her on the run from her husband. And it don't really get into at first why she's on the run from him. But she ends up packing the family and, and leaving and going to Miami. And um, she ends up chilling with a friend at first till you know, she get back on her feet who was going through something back in uh, Columbia with, you know, her, her, her man, too, while she left, too. Basically, it comes to find out that basically Roselda's husband basically slutted her out to his own brother because he owed his brother some, some, some money for some dope. And he basically slutted Griselda out to him. So Griselda wasn't happy about that. Then on top of that, when she go back to him, to her husband, he basically, the only thing he worried about is, did it feel good to her? Did, did, did she enjoy it? And she like, what? Like, yo, you don't see nothing wrong with me. You did what you did and all you care for is you, how, how, how good it felt. So she basically got tired of him. She basically to kill him. Because he basically was trying to, put her hands on her and beat her or whatever. So she barely pulled out the, out, out the tool in and popped him in the head and, and, and ran off with her family. But anyway, she gets to Miami and she ends up working for a friend for a little bit. But, you know, Griselda used to that, that, that big money. She ain't used to that, that nine to five work. That nine to five work ain't working for her. So she got a kid dope with her that she brought with her from Columbia. So she basically is trying to sell the coat she ends up meeting a low life dealer dude at first, scumbag type of dude. She 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 gives him a vow for a test. My man, he just basically just put the put the put the, the dope on the the, the the girl on the table and, and start snorting it up in the in the club in front of everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you just gonna do that in front of everybody and then you just gonna leave it on the table? Like bartender, bartender, come come get this this, this dope up on the table, get this girl up on the table. I mean, he got he just snorting it up. So basically. He tries it. He likes it. He takes her over to meet a bigger dealer, his boss. And the bigger dealer is kind of like, that's basically like, yo, man, get on out of here. I ain't fucking with you. You're, you know what I mean? You, I ain't dealing with you. Basically, a lot of the dealers in Miami don't want to deal with her because, long story short, she a woman. And they don't want to deal with her because of that. It's, 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 it's double standards even in drug dealing. It's like, yo, we ain't dealing with you. You're a woman. We ain't trying to mess with you. We ain't taking no orders from you, no nothing. So and that's basically the the vein of some of the story. That's that's some, like you know everybody underestimate her, don't want to deal with her because she's a woman, and they 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 don't want to do no business with her at first. But it becomes a story of after that she starts making some moves and some things go on. I ain't gonna tell you all the rest of it. It's basically a a come up story and a fall, a rise and a fall. With that girl, that powder, as a as a as a boost to it, if you will. And if you don't know what that girl is, look it up. I ain't gonna tell you. You sh you should know what it is by now. But if not, look it up. But anyway, let's get to the good of the story. First of all, it's a rise with a lot of killing, backstabbing, the usual rising and falling. You know what I'm saying? You know the haters. There's one hater in particular. My man, he 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 was a hater to the core. Like he he just was he he couldn't stand. He he was hating on her from the rip. Like, but anyway, let's get to the good. The good, Sophia Varaga, she killed it. You know, you used to I'm used to seeing her in in the Martin family or comedic roles, but she bodied this part. Like I hope she get an award or something for this because she killed it. She she did her thing. She thoroughly impressed me with her acting in this movie. She she killed it. The story itself, another good thing, the story itself was was good. I mean, it had a few commercialized lines and parts to it where you was like, okay, that they kind of went a little extra with that. But overall, the story was good. Three, the acting was good. I mean, everybody acted their part. They did their thing. You felt bad when people passed. Like when her homegirl passed or got killed 
got a head cut off out that 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 killed me because that was the one who always was showing her love and giving her that boost and when she got killed that that kind of was messed up um when our when our homie Arturo got killed, I felt that. So that lets you know the acting was real good. So that was a good thing. Let's get to the bad. One of the bad is where the hell was Charles Crosby at? Like you gonna have a story on Griselda, you ain't gonna choose Charles Crosby. Where, where the brother at, man? Like what's up with that? Like the brother couldn't get no love. Like okay, I see. I see what this is. Like this some hot. That's some Hollywood shit, or that's like. The, the writer didn't want to include the brother. You could have put the brother in there now. That was, that was some BS they did that part. That was, that was foul. Like, what Charles Crosby at? The other bag was, it wasn't long. Like, they could have did two two uh, seasons out of this here. I mean, I they, they they chopped that up, like, real quick. I don't know if the Netflix didn't give them the budget, a bigger budget, or it was like, okay, it might not get an audience so we're just gonna give you a small but it is a mini series so i guess they had to do what they had to do so that was the other bad it was too short I, it could have went two seasons um my overall review of griselda the netflix mini series i'm gonna give it 3.5 keys of that girl out of five don't expect no narcos next level type of stuff but for what it was if you're looking for some good acting some a, a decent a good story yo man check this out with 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 you know drug dealing and the rise and fall of a person and definitely definitely check this out overall a good series i enjoyed it and it's your boy slim the fox you know what i'm about to say i'm out of here like last year peace